Hey, so you're at home and you want to learn something new. So today I will share with you 10 beautiful English words that you can use in your daily English casual conversation to sound like an advanced English speaker. So get your notebook and pen out because I'm going to give you 10 of my favorite English words, their meanings, their root words and example sentences. So let's get going. Hey everyone, this is Chetna and you're watching Chet Chat and let's begin right away with my 10 favorite words. Word number one is euphoric. Euphoric. Yes, this word comes from euphoria and all you BTS army folks are getting super excited already, right? Euphoria means extreme happiness, like super extra over the top type of extreme happiness. A euphoric person is one who is feeling this intense well-being or joy. Euphoric originates from the word euphoros, a Greek word that means healthy because health and happiness are often interlinked. Example, she was euphoric after her victory in the elections. If you want to use the noun euphoria, then you can say, after winning the prize, her euphoria was out of bounds. Or the drug produced intense feelings of euphoria. By the way, euphoria is also used to convey abnormally intense feelings of excitement. So next time you can tell your friends that you're euphoric after watching Chet Chat's videos. <laughs> Word number two is bamboozled. Bamboozled. Bamboozled means to fool or cheat someone or to deceive someone. For example, the magician bamboozled me out of my money. Some people feel that it may have come from the Scott word bombays, which is related to bombast and means to perplex. For example, it is said that the poor people often get bamboozled by money lenders. Or it can be used instead of confuse or frustrate. For example, the footballer was bamboozled by the intense defense of the opponents. Other words that you can use instead of bamboozle are hoodwink, bluff or deceive. And before we go on to word number three, I would like to give a shout out to Meeta Gupta for leaving this lovely message which got 124 likes from all of you. And if you want a shout out in my next video, then leave me a message below with the hashtag Chet Chatters. Word number three, serendipity. Serendipity. Serendipity means the happening of some event by chance in a happy or beneficial way like a lucky coincidence or a chance by fluke. Serendipity does not come from Latin or Greek, but rather it was created by a British nobleman in the mid 1700s from an ancient Persian fairy tale. The meaning of the word good luck in finding valuable things unintentionally refers to the fairy tale characters who were always making discoveries through chance. For example, imagine you enter an exam hall and realize that you've forgotten to carry your pen with you. And just as you approach your desk, you find a pen lying there and realize that you had left it behind the last time. That is serendipity. Or let's say you're looking for a job and out of nowhere an old friend calls you and talks about some vacancy at your dream company. That too is serendipity. Now tell me about some serendipitious happenings of your life as a comment below. And if you are looking for more such smart words to use, then we have two videos on our channel and I will drop links for you here and here and below this video. Word number four is gibberish. Gibberish. Even though the word begins with a G, it is not pronounced as gibberish, but gibberish. Gibberish is also called jibber-jabber or gobbledygook. It is speech that is like nonsense or something meaningless. Another word for gibberish is mumbo-jumbo. It is like speaking some strange words that have no real meaning. A baby's talk is also referred to as gibberish. Or if you choose to say Iggly Biggly Google Gobs Bazinga Super Califaginistic XP Alejocious, then you would be speaking gibberish. Gibberish is a funny word. Where did it come from? Some believe it's from the Irish word gob or gab, which means mouth. 
Okay, how about you make some gibberish sounding sentences and share them with me below. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> Word number five is plethora. Plethora. Plethora means a large or an excess amount of something. Example, the official made me fill up a plethora of forms for one small job. My friend has a plethora of shoes, yet she always says she has nothing to wear. Plethora comes from a similar Greek word meaning fullness. Example, there is a plethora of people waiting outside vaccination centers. Or, there are a plethora of crime shows these days, but very few that can hold your attention. Tell me what you have a plethora of. Pencils, books or games? Waiting to hear from you. Word number six is tranquil. Tranquil. Tranquil means free from disturbance, very calm. An example of a tranquil atmosphere is a hammock on the side of the ocean on a quiet day. And if I were there, I would go to bed with a happy and tranquil mind. The word tranquil comes from the Latin word tranquilius, which means calm. Tranquil is usually used for peaceful and calm places. And if you want to describe a calm person, then serene would be a more appropriate word. Example, the farm was a tranquil place far removed from the hustle bustle of the city. By the way, a tranquilizer is a drug that has a calming and sedative effect on a person. Word number seven is jinx. Jinx. A jinx means bad luck or person or thing that is believed to bring bad luck. For example, someone put a jinx on this car. It's always giving me trouble. Have you noticed how when two people say the same thing at the exact time, one of them would quickly turn around and say jinx to the other one? A bit like statue? And unless someone took the other person's name, they could not start speaking again. This is so much fun. Jinx can be traced back to the 17th century when a word called jing was used to mean spell. Example, the injury jinx has struck the cricket team. You can use the verb form of the word as well. His luck has been so bad, he feels jinxed. Word number eight is nifty. Nifty. No, this has nothing to do with the stock exchange. Nifty is an adjective which means good, effective, handy or useful. For example, I found a nifty little gadget for slicing cucumbers. Or there was some nifty guitar work in his new album. Nifty is slang to describe something that is good and also clever and useful. Can you use the word nifty in a sentence and show me? Word number nine is bedazzled. Bedazzled. Bedazzled means to impress someone so much because of being very intelligent, beautiful, etc. It's like getting dazzled by bright lights. Same way, this is a bit like getting dazzled by someone's brilliance or beauty. We were bedazzled by her knowledge and beauty. The audience was bedazzled by the features of the new smartphone at the launch presentation. Many people are bedazzled by fame and money. Word number 10 is idyllic. Idyllic. If you describe something as idyllic, you mean that it is extremely pleasant, simple and peaceful without any difficulties or dangers. For example, an idyllic setting for a summer romance. Married life is not as idyllic as he had imagined. It means something that is heavenly, idealized, ideal or charming. Do not confuse this with idle or idle. This is like being pleasing or picturesque in natural simplicity. Like she had an idyllic childhood in the village. I do hope you enjoyed this list of 10 beautiful English words and happy learning.